<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. I can say happy Monday because, well, I just know it's Monday. I'll put it that way. <laughs> Couple things. Exhibit A, the kind people at Empower Fitness sent me some new uh, replacement gloves. I have to tell you, based on what they sent me, remember I told you guys that I bought the set um, that came with the weighted ball? Um, I just happened to be, I ran, ran to uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something that day, because I, I know they always have weighted gloves um, of some brand, right? And I didn't want to wait to order them from Beachbody because I'm impatient. Um, and I've never bought weighted gloves in the past because I always thought, oh, you know, it's, it, that's only a pound or whatever. So buying weighted gloves or even ankle weights, I have a pair, but I haven't used them in years. That's something that I just kind of thought, oh God, you know, that's so late eighties, early nineties, like people don't use those anymore. And it wasn't until I started doing Turbo Fire and Les Mills that a bunch of people had said to me on Facebook and my blog, etc., that if you add the weighted gloves, it'll just do amazing things for your shoulders and your arms. And I have to tell you, I'm in full agreement. All that said, I got impatient, went to TJ Maxx. This was the brand that I saw, and it was a, it was a kit. It had these gloves. Um, I think they're like a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. I gotta look, oh, it says a pound, sorry, uh, a pound. Each one's just a pound. It's amazing the difference it makes because, uh, by the way, for those of you giving me crap that I don't do sweaty vlogs, I am indeed very sweaty. In fact, I'm in the middle of the work and I'm gonna go back and finish and do, um, what am I doing today? <sighs> I just did uh, Les Mills 45 minute combat and now I'm going to do the uh, ballet body lower body and uh, that because uh, it's Monday morning, I didn't sleep particularly well last night. I'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna be brief though, look at this messy half in, half out ponytail thing going on. Um, I'm, doing what my, I'm doing what my mom does. I'm getting off on 75 different points from one sentence. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> these things, they sent me the replacement gloves because if you recall in some of my last videos, I was saying that the ones I was using, <clears throat> one of the gloves had gotten, um, the sand had gotten really hard. Now I you obviously can't tell this, but you can see that this is very, very soft. One of the gloves I purchased at TJ Maxx, it had gotten hard, so it really felt like a rock was on top of my hand. You might think, oh, it's one pound. It was making my, it was actually making it swell, and it just felt like a, a rock was pounding on my arm. So I think I might have just gotten a set that was, <laughs> maybe TJ Maxx is throw, settling, selling things that there's, I can't talk, selling things that should have been thrown away. It seemed like I got a dud pair, because all of the ones that I got were so much more soft than the ones I got there at TJ Maxx. So something to be said. Um, I love TJ Maxx, I love Marshall, so I'm not cutting on them, but it's just interesting. <laughs> a couple of things, because um, I'm trying to make this like a high on back kind of video. I haven't, um, I, I tried to shoot a couple, actually I did shoot uh, two or three videos end of last week and I uploaded them and something was going on with this Sony that there was some special effect that I had pressed and it looked really weird. <laughs> And if I would have uploaded it, it just, it looked like I was trying to make it cool and I wasn't. It was like a sepia tone um, and I couldn't fix it and it just looks so stupid. So I have to be honest with you, I just deleted it. Um, but that said, haven't uploaded videos for a while, so here's this. One of the things that I'm excited about, which I will do a separate video about, is I've been talking about the Samsung camera and how I brought this Samsung. I'm so upset about it. See how it has the big LCD screen in the back? I just don't like getting fingerprints on it, although it already has fingerprints. So, <clears throat> this is that Samsung Galaxy camera that does not only photos, but videos, and is voice activated. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. It's voice activated, okay? So right now, I'm shooting this vlog, which is what I've been using, my Sony, <clears throat> my Sony DCR SR85, I think. Um, I've been using this for four or five years, but as you guys know, I have this little, which is great, this is awesome, but um, I can shoot my videos, I have the little display thing turning towards me so I know if I'm like way down here or not. 
Um, and then I press stop and start like that. Now, I was obviously incredibly excited to get this from Verizon. Um, so this is, again, the Samsung Galaxy camera from Verizon. Um, and the reason it's key to get it from Verizon is that, I'll explain why in a second, you can shoot all of your, cam oh, your cameras, all of your photos and your videos on here. And everything that you need to upload and distribute them to your social platforms is on the camera. Your email's on the camera, your ability to surf is on the camera, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everything is on the camera. So instead of doing what I've done in the past, or what most of you, many of you, if you have a similar setup to me, have done in the past, you shot your content on a video camera. Now, granted, I don't do editing and stuff. This also has editing software on it. But if I were to have been doing editing, I'd be shooting, the, shooting it here, going in there, I have a cord that goes into the USB port, transfer the files. At that point, I'm guessing, if I were an editing person, I would edit it, then upload it to YouTube. That's a long drawn out process. That tends to be why when I travel, I don't upload a lot of content because of the pain in the ass situation there, but also because sometimes hotels have high speed internet access and it's really more like AOL circa 1997. Now, here's what's great, and I'm excited about this, especially because today, as you can see, I put, I was really a little worried because once I knew that I was gonna be using this, then I'm like, oh, it's gonna need a special tripod and I've got my tripod all set up here. Guess what? This Sony that I'm using, this little thing that comes on it came with the tripod, not with Sony. So pretty much they've made it now, of course, I guess I could take this off and show you. So all, from what I know, all cameras or any kind of camera equipment, they've got a universal size hole in the bottom, right? So that you can always put this little bad boy on it, which this little bad boy is what slips into my camcorder, which is what I am so excited about. So all that said, this bad boy, the Samsung Galaxy camera, you can take your photos, take your video, edit your video, edit your photos, all of that, and then shoot it out via YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, from your phone. Which again, back to my earlier statement, is why it's important that you get this via Verizon because of the 4G LTE network. I don't exactly know how to explain what 4G LTE is. Let's just say all you need to know is it's fast, and that's what you need. So you're gonna hear me um, talk a lot more about this. What I need to do is I experimented with this out in LA and it was awesome because I did take some pictures of myself in the hotel room doing like, I was just testing it, like yoga pose here and there. Um, now that I know I can use my um, tripod, that's going to help me a lot because my tripod, as you know, see I can do all this up and down over all that kind of stuff, right? Thank God my kitchen's clean. Um, so it gives me the ability to kind of set this up where I need it to be, take photos, take pictures, whatever. You know, a lot of you guys have been writing to me going, why don't you demonstrate this? Why don't you do that? Well, it's been tough because it's just been me here with this. And you know, if you're in a pose that's using all of your hands to have to do this, to stop, think about that. What if I was doing like downward dog or something for you guys? And then I'm like, oh, hold on. And then I have to do this, I'll probably fall over. So the voice activation thing is really gonna be key. and. What I need to do, since I haven't shot video yet, is practice with the video. And then I'll do a video for you guys using this so you can see more what it's capable of. But I'm sure that if you Google it and go to YouTube, you'll find out a lot of information. Second thing a lot of you guys are asking me for is, um, I've gotten a lot of questions on this, Facebook, on my blog, etc. Yes, I haven't blogged in like a week, so I'll get back to it. Um, tr I'm really focusing heavily on getting some good new processes in place, especially now that I'm going to be hitting, in addition to my cardio that I've been keeping up with for the past uh, month and a half or so, two months probably, um, you know, I've been doing great with my cardio and my yoga every night, but one of the things that has been missing certainly is a consistent training program where I'm hitting the gym, right? Because I'm training, changing trainers and so on and so forth. But all that said, um, I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I really know that I like doing yoga at night. Um, that's more so because I like, it's just I've gotten used to it. Yoga every night, it's kind of what my mind needs as well to kind of wind down. Um, but I also know that if it gets to the end of the day and I've worked really hard all day, I tend to be mentally drained. So my ability, even when I'm using our friend here, 
uh, my ability to really get my energy up is heavily diminished by the end of the day. So I think what I'm going to do is continue to do my empty morning cardio in the mornings every day, my yoga every night, which I enjoy. And the only thing I want to do really is now fit in four targeted training lifting sessions at the gym. I mean four. Um, and I'm trying to figure out right now if I'm going to do that combined with my early morning cardio all together, or if I do early morning cardio, add in four days of really, you know, 45 minutes to an hour lifting at the gym. Yes, I can do it at home, but it's always better at the gym for what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, that's what I'm figuring out is, can I really manage my schedule and, and really add in what's essentially going to be another 90 minutes gone from my office? I believe I might be able to, you know, based on focus, it's all about focus. You know, when you're fresh, or for me, you know, when I'm fresh and I am sitting at my desk and I've given myself enough downtime and I hit my work, I do it effectively. When I'm not fresh and I've worked too long without a break, that's when I can sit there and be absolutely unproductive for three hours versus getting so much done in half an hour, it's unbelievable. So that's what I really need to be doing is ensuring I get my breaks and maybe that's why it could be a good thing. There's somebody pulling up. Um, it could be a good thing for me to maybe break up and do, when I'm not traveling, you know, four days a week at lunchtime, go over to the gym. It could be a nice break in the day and then I have, you know, fresh in the morning after cardio, fresh in the morning or in the afternoon after the gym, and then I do yoga later at night before bed. We'll figure it out. Um, that said, you guys are also asking me, and I'm going to wrap this up now because I want to keep my sweat going. Um, I'm only at 391 calories. Um, we will be changing a little bit of what I'm taking as far as um, supplements. Um, still doing this right now before fast cardio in the morning, addicted to it. This is the new product and I'm going to have Bill um, and we'll probably put this up on um, Fitflantial as well. Um, this looks like it's for after your recovery, for after uh, training, so after lifting. It's not an energy for before. What I need to ask him is, you know, I use this before cardio um, and I tend to when I do like lifting at the gym, I'm using either uh, BSN No Explode or Gaspari Super Pump 250. So what I need to ask him is clarification, you know, do all these products play well with each other so I don't end up being an explosion? Um, and what do I take in what order, etc. And one of the things that I have been so, so, so excited that my friend Dutch told me about is this stuff. Because he was talking to me about um, how I never sleep and blah, 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 and I'm taking Excedrin PM and all that. And I was so skeptical. But he said, this is a recovery from GNC. It's a recovery formula that is helping with, you know, your physical recovery. So it's got immediate six-hour release, leucine and glutamine to fuel recovery, primes body for sleep potential with key ingredients plus muscle fueling compounds. Features melatonin, L-theanine, GABA, I don't know if I'm saying this, mucana, mucana, and d aspartic acid. No idea what any of that is. All I know is I take this at night now and I fall asleep. My main problem with sleep lately, and I'm getting some blood work done this week um, to see if it's a thyroid issue. My main problem with sleep now is this helps me get to sleep, but I kind of wake up around 1.30 or 2. It's my new thing, and I'm really hot. Not sweating, you know, so it's not like night sweat kind of a thing. I'm just hot. I'm hot as if I've gone to like a tanning bed. These are the lovely, probably hormonal good times that I get to enjoy for quite a while, another 10, 15 years. I'm going to kill myself. Um, anyway, so we'll find out. I'm going to get some uh, testing done later on this week, and we'll see about that. But I will tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. This is my new boyfriend. So I'm almost at 15 minutes, you guys. i got to go. It's time to go finish um, my workout. I can't talk. Um, and I will shoot other videos today. I'm going to leave this bad boy up and shoot a ton of videos. I really have a lot to catch up with you guys on. I'm going to be making, got my tilapia out, my turkey. Um, going to be getting the protein up for my training. And um, I'll tell you all about that. I'll tell you about diet, what I'm doing. I'll tell you about my supplements, what I'm doing. I'll tell you the workout plan. I'll share with you some of the new um, stuff, cool goods I got, technology, phones, um, all kinds of stuff to share with you. And then also just um, maybe a recap. Some of you guys have been asking, you know, what are the results from the yoga? What are the results from the cardio? 
Um, now that I'm running again, thank God, I'm really starting to feel how that's affecting everything else. So it's all good. I need to shut up. I'll talk to you guys later, okay?